Hello, my name is Mark and welcome to I'm Organic Gardening located in Zone 6B in the state of New Jersey. And today we're going to go over something very important about microbes, soil temperature, and everything else explaining why we have these beautiful tomato seedlings here and why are they turning purple. Your stem will turn purple, the bottom of your leaves will turn purple, and I will go over that immediately in the next couple of minutes in this video. And it's nothing to panic about. It's actually a good learning lesson for you to understand how your soil biology works. We're talking about your microbes. There's all different kinds of microbes in your soil, not just bacteria and fungi. I believe there's like 300 different types of bacteria and probably say 200 different uh, uh, fungi out there that they've discovered and there's even more they're thinking there's might be up to a billion different types in the future so every year they're discovering more and how it's working so these tomato transplants that I've been growing my basement underneath grow lights uh, I started a little bit later because our weather has been unpredictable for the last couple of years just a little bit of a feedback what's going on in the state of New Jersey in the month of May, we only had about maybe, let's say, an inch of rain. And then we finally got an inch and a half of rain towards the end of the month. And we were getting towards a drought season. So I didn't want to start any of my seedlings early in the basement and then have to come out here and transplant them in the garden and worry about watering them. Uh, dry indication, the whole the soil would be dry around it. So when you water that one tomato plant, the rest of the soil around that tomato plant is just gonna suck that water away and go into the ground. Now, I do a lot of natural farming here because I have a garden that I show you that I grow a lot of my food in and also I have the farm part, which I have to make my living or profit on. Now, in the field, I can't really irrigate because I don't have the equipment or the money to set out huge amounts of irrigation irrigation out there and so I try to grow soil on my farm here to store that water and I use a lot of leaves I grow cover crops and other kinds of things so anyway back to tomato plants is it's a simple understanding why they're turning purple it all does with temperature now the ideal temperature in your soil and again I recommend you buy one of these things it's just a regular soil temperature thermometer and it costs around ten dollars very accurate so what's going on it's good to always have a estimated planting date but it's an estimated planting date what you really should go by is your soil temperature and when your cover crop is ready to uh, let's say be terminated so back to again to the tomato plants turning purple it is due to temperature now if you have a heating mat in your grow area or something like that you're gonna see less of a problem with that because you have your nitrogen phosphorus and your potassium now and I use nothing but worm castings as a fertilizer so that and so the NP and K is in the is in the worm castings but at a very small amount and I get healthy green tomato plants now that is due to the warmth of the soil I also use heating mats and I try to maintain at least a 75 to 80 degree temperature uh, when the lights are on and also when the lights are off so when I turn the lights off at night I have my heating mats on maintaining 75 to 80 degrees and those microbes that are inside that worm casting certain ones of them are going to go after the phosphorus and that's the key to having problem with your tomato plants here and with this nice little example here is that this soil here and I just use coconut core and worm castings that has to be between 75 and 80 degrees at night and those microbes that are already in the worm castings come back alive again and then can take that phosphorus out of the worm castings and deliver it to your plant that's why your plant is not uh, is turning purple because it doesn't have the right let's say soil temperature now let me show you a very good close-ups of everything here and I will give you a better visual aid so you can see what's going on. 
Here's my tomato plants that I'm acclimating. Also two things, you can see them moving around in the wind. One, I want to get them to, uh, let's say, acclimate to the wind in stronger stems before I bring them outside and plant them in the garden. And I, that's why you see this panel over here on the left side. That's a piece of polycarp because we do get strong winds here. And I just want to have it uh, slowly be acclimated into that process. So let's see if I can find something here with you know, some purple leaves on the bottom. So here's a great example. You can see underneath the leaves here. The older leaves are on the bottom. See how purple they are here? And then here it's kind of growing out and over here. Because what I did inside my basement where I was growing these things, I did turn off the heating mat because I didn't want them to grow too quickly. After the first week or two after they germinated, I just kept the heating mat on and then I turned it off and then I noticed that it was turning purple again. So I went back in my notes and I had a salesman that came out from Johnny Seeds years ago, about maybe 12 years ago. And it was all due to, let's say, the temperature of the soil. So when I turn the heating mat back on again, and also here you can see, see how it's not as purple? And basically what you're doing is just maintaining that soil temperature so those microbes can take out the potassium and fill that to your, uh, give that to your plant as needed. And they're nice and healthy here, looking good and ready to be transferred outside. No purple stem anymore and the leaves on the top are actually a nice dark green here. So I also started a little experiment outside. These I brought outside after May 15th and they were definitely purple underneath the leaves too. And I also tried to grow these young little tomato plants here, a couple little weeds here from my worm castings. So anyway, under, just regular growing outside after May 15th until now, you can see a little bit of purple stems and leaves are a little bit, you know, purple also too, but not as bad because we've had some intense weather. The whole thing is with tomatoes, eggplants, and peppers is that they want a constant temperature above at least 70 degrees soil temperature at night. And a lot of people say, you know, you have to be above 55 degrees or something like that. It's not so much for the plant itself. It's for those microbes in the ground to give everything thing to that plant to break it down and go further now here on this one here now these have been outside again started with some purple leaves on the bottom and also too not so bad underneath because I kept these outside to acclimate them all the time and just keep them from actually being put in the garden so I can actually have a, a better quality plant and not worry about the drought situation so what this is showing you is again nice and green on the leaves because we've had those really warm temperatures at night so that phosphorus can be broken down and delivered to that tomato plant through the microbes that are inside this potting mix here of again just coconut core and warm castings. So what I want to share with you right now here is it's only about 8.30 in the morning and it's supposed to get a high of 94 today, but that soil temperature inside that four inch pot that the tomato plant is in, it's already at 75 degrees. So that is helping that plant get phosphorus to it and thus causing less purpling of that tomato plant. And once you plant this, and I've been growing tomatoes probably for the last, uh, I don't know, 30 years of my life, they will always grow out of it. So don't worry about it. It's all due to soil temperature. Something that's very important to your microbes is also water and it has to have a food source, water, and temperature. And then all is good. So if you have a drought situation, mulch, try to keep everything as moist as possible because without water, those microbes cannot help your plants organically. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon later about other some interesting things that are going on in the garden and I'll see you shortly. Thanks for watching and please like the video. Bye.